Hello students, welcome to the next session of software engineering. In today's session, we shall be talking about the last concept of our fourth chapter in third unit, which is build pipeline project using Jenkins script. So in the last sessions, we have seen what is Jenkins, what is its architecture, how to build a freestyle uh, project, how to create a pipeline in Jenkins for Maven Java and Maven web projects. Today we shall be talking about what is Jenkins script and how to build a pipeline project using this Jenkins script. We shall begin with uh, just a refresh of what exactly do we mean by Jenkins. So Jenkins is uh, basically an automation tool which is used by the developers it, it, which helps in continuous integration and continuous delivery. It basically automates all the tasks that we perform in our software development, like for example, automatic building, automatic testing, automatic deployment of our projects, everything is done. That is called as Jenkins. So when all this automation is happening, your Jenkins will use something called as Jenkins script. Okay, so what do you mean by Jenkins script? Jen Jenkins script is basically set of instructions that you are giving Jenkins to perform a particular task. So you are writing a script, which is generally called as a groovy script. We write that script and we say Jenkins that they take so-and-so project, automatically build it, test it and deploy it into so-and-so environment. Okay. So by this, what is happening by this, we are basically saving our time. We are ready and also we are reducing the errors in our project also. That is the main reason of using this Jenkins script. So let us see when we write this Jenkins script, what are the tasks that are generally automated? So we are talking about a Jenkins script, which will automate, automate the tasks in software development. So what tasks are actually automated? The first thing is code. So whenever you are doing any modification in your project and pushing that modification into GitHub, you need not go and tell Jenkins that my GitHub repository is updated, go and get my project. You need not tell it. By writing scripts, your Jenkins will automatically trigger whenever it finds any modification in GitHub. The second thing is build code. So when it gets an updated code from the GitHub, it will automatically compile that code and convert it into an executable version. After converting into executable version, the project will be automatically tested by Jenkins making sure that there are no errors. If there are er errors, it also makes sure to notify the developers via email. The next one is it will add all the necessary packages required for your software for the deployment environment and in whichever container or in whichever site you want your project to get deployed, that is automatically deployed. So this is basically automated in Jenkins by writing Jenkins script. Right. So let's see what are the different types of Jenkins scripts we have. We basically have two different types of Jenkins scripts. The first one you have is called as a declarative pipeline. So this declarative pipeline is like very simple and very structured. It is used for very small tasks. So as a beginner, if you want to learn scripts in Jenkins, then it, it will be very easy for us to understand and write this declarative pipeline. It's very you, uh, best for straightforward tasks. The next one you have is scripted pipeline. So the scripted pipeline is basically an advanced version of this declarative pipeline where you can, it is basically used for complex tasks. So it is very flexible. It is very powerful, much more higher uh, version than this declarative pipeline. So in our uh, lab sessions, we will be working on this declarative pipeline as uh, we are beginners to the Jenkins. So let me just give you an example of how exactly this declarative and scripted pipelines will actually look like. So look into this example here. This is an example of a script which is used under declarative pipeline. Okay. So this is how you have to write a script in Jenkins to do automatic tasks. So if you look into this particular example, the declarative pipeline will be, will be starting with something called as pipeline here. So pipeline in the sense, it is telling the Jenkins that this is a pipeline job. So what do you mean by pipeline? If you remember, I told you in the last uh, video, pipeline is basically the sequence of projects that are executed in your Jenkins. 
So what you are doing is you are integrating multiple projects and you are creating a pipeline. That means if first project is triggered, automatically after that the next projects will continue their execution. And if you want to visually see this also, you can create the pipelines, right? So you are telling your Jenkins that I am writing this script, script to create a pipeline. So whatever uh, projects I will write inside this pipeline, make sure that you are integrating them together is what I am telling my Jenkins with this word which is called as pipeline. The next one you have is agent any. So agent any is nothing but you are telling your Jenkins that this particular script can run on any machine. So in Jenkins architecture, basically you will be having a master machine and a slave machine. So you are telling that you can use this particular script on any machine. It could be a master or it could be in any of the slaves. Right. The next one you have is stages. Stage is nothing but the projects that you want to create in your Jenkins. So last time we have seen an example where we have manually created projects. Now we are writing the same thing in a scripted way, right? So one stage will be for automatic building, one stage will be for automatic testing, one stage will be for automatic deployment and all, okay? So and inside this stage you write something called as steps, which is nothing but the output that you want to display after this stage is successful. Now say suppose automatic building is successful. So what is the output that you want to print? Is it the logs that you want to print or is it, if you remember we have clicked something called as archive the artifacts. So that means there is some output that you are getting after building your particular project. So that if you want to print, then you can print it inside the steps, right? And the same thing, if test is successful, what is that you want to print? If deployment is successful, what is that you want to print? So inside steps, you can write down all this. So as you can see, this declarative pipeline is very simple, right? Let's look into some uh, benefits or the advantages of this declarative pipeline. So as I told you, it is very easy to read and easy to write. And it cannot be used for complex projects. It, it does not need much customization. So you, see, you can simply add any number of stages and you can simply print the outputs of those stages. So it's very simple. Now let's see an example of the scripted pipeline. So this is how your scripted pipeline will actually look like. So scripted pipeline will start with something called as node. So node is specifying on which machine I have to run this script. So in previous declarative pipeline, I told it can run on anything. It could be master, it could be any of the slaves. But in scripted pipeline, you have to specifically mention in which system do I actually have to run the script. Is it the master or is it slave 1 or slave 2 or in which one? That is called as node. The next one, you have something called as stage, which is similar to the declarative pipeline. One for build, test and deploy. Those stages are nothing but the projects that you are creating in your Jenkins. Now, inside the stages... Along with printing the output, you can even add some complex build steps also. So what do you mean by complex build steps in the sense? Say suppose this particular stage or this particular project has to trigger something else. So you can write that step. You can add some if-else loops, conditional statements, anything. You can make it little more uh, inbuilt. Inside inside one stage, you can add one more stage, you can put a condition, you can say if this is satisfied, then do this task. So you can add multiple complex build steps, which is not actually possible in your declarative pipeline. Okay, so that is the main advantage of this uh, scripted pipeline. So let's look into the benefits of scripted pipeline. So as I told you, it is very good for complex tasks. It is very flexible and very powerful. Okay, and you can even add conditional logical statements like if statements and all inside these particular stages. So this, these are the basically examples of your declarative pipeline and your scripted pipeline. Now, where can I use these scripts? Okay, so these scripts in Jenkins can be used in two different types of projects. So if you remember, last time we have created projects. So I gave you the list of n number of projects here. Freestyle project, pipeline, multi-configuration project. I gave you all the list of projects that you can have in your Jenkins. But this scripted pipeline, whatever we are talking about, can be used in two different types of projects. One is called as freestyle project. The other one is called as the pipeline project. 
okay so today we shall be talking about how to create pipeline project because we have already seen freestyle project so if you remember this is how your freestyle project pipeline was actually looking like yes so this was the output of your freestyle project now this is how your pipeline project will look like so when you write a script in pipeline project and create a pipeline this is the visual representation of it you can see that this is one stage second stage third fourth fifth six seven stages are there here and each stage is doing some or the other task okay and if all the stages are successfully executed you get this green boxes here if any any one of the box is red that means that that particular stage is not successfully created okay so this is uh, how your different types of uh, jenkins pipeline projects are there and where we can use the script jenkins script so today what i will do is i will just show you a sample declarative pipeline for a sample hello world script so we'll not make it complicated we'll just start with some hello world script i will show you how exactly we can create declarative script in jenkins and how can we create a declarative pipeline how to run it how to view the output of it so once we understand this concept in the next session we shall be writing script to automate the process of maven java project or maven web project right so for that what we have to do is the first thing we should make sure that uh in our local system we are installing maven java and git because i told you that in our laptop jenkins is working as both master as well as slave so that is the reason you should make sure that in our in our local system you are installing maven check by uh the version mvn version then java java version git git version once this is completed the next step we have to do is to configure all these three into jenkins so i told you how to configure also in the jenkins installation ppt you can just go through it so what you have to do is in you have to configure jdk under the name java_home and give the path of jdk in jenkins after jdk you have to give the path of git so you should say git_home and you have to give the git.exe uh, path in your jenkins similarly maven_home you have to configure maven also to jenkins and you have to give the local path here once all these three configurations are ready with our jenkins we can now start working with our declarative pipeline scripts so let me come back to the jenkins dashboard if you want to create a declarative pipeline script click on this new item after you click on this new item it is asking for a name so let me just give a name called as uh, sample script example okay so last time we have clicked for this freestyle project this time i will click for pipeline because i'm writing a script here so i will click on this pipeline and i'll click okay so your dashboard will get opened you can give some description as to why you are creating this uh, scripted pipeline otherwise you can scroll down and you have something called as pipeline option here now under pipeline you have two options one is pipeline script the other one is pipeline script from scm now say suppose you already have a script that is written in some source code ma management like github so you can click on this option and you can directly give the link of that github repository which is having the script ready for you otherwise if you want to write the script in jenkins only you have to go for this option which is called as pipeline script okay so after selecting this here is where you can start typing your script you can uh, type your declarative script otherwise you can use some sample templates which are already there in your jenkins so you have some sample templates here as you can see hello world is for declarative you have scripted pipeline template also you can use these templates and you can modify your script however you want related to your project so let me take an example template which is called as hello world so when i click on this this is how your script will actually look like as you can see here right so since this is a declarative script it the script has started with a word which is called as pipeline telling my jenkins that create a pipeline okay for whatever projects i am mentioning in the script to create a pipeline then i am saying agent any uh, that means the script can be run on master or in slave then i am creating stages stages are nothing but the projects inside my jenkins so 
one project could be build the other project could be test the other one could be deploy so since this is a hello world template the stage name is given as hello but when you actually write declarative uh, scripts you can change this hello to build or test or deploy right now i am telling that this is one project which is called as hello if this is successful print something called as hello world right so when i execute this particular pipeline if this is successful then i'll get the output saying hello world now what i will do is i'll just copy this stage and i'm going to create one more stage we just show you the how the pipeline will actually look like let me say that uh, the first stage name is hello1 and the second stage name is hello2 and if hello1 is successful let me just print something called as hello world1 and if hello2 is successful let me print something called as hello world2 so this is how you have to write a declarative pipeline and you can add any number of stages depending upon the number of projects then click on apply and then click on save okay so now it is telling nothing is there because i did not start anything so what i will do is i will click on this build now option you can see that the build is running here it is scheduled so once the build is successful you can view the pipeline here so we'll just wait for 1 minute for the build to complete and once the build is complete you can see the pipeline is created so this is the pipeline it is telling that you have two projects one is hello1 the other one is hello2 and both are successful so you've got green color here if it is red that means there is some problem here so say suppose you want to see the output of this hello1 project so place your mouse pointer here then you have something called as logs if you click on this logs you can see the output hello world 1 okay close it if you want to see the output of hello world 2 you can see this hello world 2 so this is how you have to write a sample declarative uh, script and generate a declarative pipeline okay and you can view the logs and all in the next session i will be showing you how to write a declarative script and create a pipeline for maven java project or a maven web project thank you